welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can support our great leader Mazin Namdekano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality and put the Fulani Janjawi to shame. He said, The Fulani lab dog and slave, Femi Adesino, is so shameless and he is trying to deceive the gullibles in Nigeria and Biafra land. That because of Buare's fake love, for Biafras, he completed Second Niger Bridge, thinking that Biafras are Almajari or area boys that could easily be deceived. You know, he's just saying that because 2023 is around the corner and the Volani Gingerweed, they have exhausted all their evil plan and wickedness against Biafrans. And now, they are blaming former president Olusha Guapa Senjo and Good Luck Jonathan that they never completed the second Niger Bridge, that it was Buhari who did that. What a big lie. What a big lie. Buhari was just laughing at the stupidity of Adeshina because Buhari said he can never forgive Biafra. Everyone knows Buhari, he never forgives nor forgets any wrong. He never. He said he can never forgive Biafra. For the 1966 Zogo led military coup that killed most of their Fulani leaders. And the recent chasing away of Fulani terrorist killer headsmen from Biafran forest and bushes by Eastern Security Network. He said he can never forgive Biafrans. And this is the same person committing genocide in Biafra land because of his hatred for Biafra. You know, Buhari hates Biafrans so much that he can never allow Biafrans to succeed him. According to reports, Donyo Kukwe, a former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, has made what he called 15 revelations about the second Niger Bridge in Onitsha, Anambra State. He made these revelations to debunk the Fulani slave, Femi Adesina, his lies, who blamed the regime of Obasanjo and Good Luck Jonathan for failing Biafrans, whereas it is the terrorist Fulani Buhari that killed Biafrans, innocent Biafrans. Some of them were adopted and locked up in dungeons. Their families are looking for them. It is Buhari who released his Fulani terrorists to unleash mayhem and havoc against Biafrans and Nigerians. And that is why Buhari must go. The Fulani must go with their wickedness and evil. According to Donyo Kupe, the revelations are as follows. The second Niger Bridge is not being constructed by the Nigerian government, so they should stop lying. They are not the one constructing it. It is a PPP project, a partnership project, which the federal government of Nigeria contributes a tiny fraction. So for them to be lying that they constructed, they never they are not the one constructing. They only contribute a tiny fraction. The second Niger Bridge will cost about 
117 billion naira. They started the project in 2013 and it should have been completed in 2017. But Buhari stopped work for 31 months. He stopped work because of his hatred for Biafras. He doesn't want anything good to come into Biafra land. All he wants is for Ruga and Fulani terrorists to come into Biafra land. So he stopped the work. Completion dates not certain now. It's not certain. The federal government share of the cost of the second Niger Bridge construction is 30 billion naira. Good luck, Jonathan, through the Shaw P project, paid 21.2 billion naira, which represents 71% of the Nigerian contribution to the Partnership project of the second Niger Bridge, including seven billion for the completion of preparatory work phase one, which implies that thirty-eight percent of work was completed as of January twenty fifteen by Good Luck Jonathan. The 140 billion naira the former criminal governor of Edo State, Oshomole, said was wasted on admin cost on the bridge was a lie in order to deceive the gullible so that the gullibles will accept the narrative of the Fulani Janjaweed, who painted good luck Jonathan as very corrupt. You know, administrative cost cannot be higher than the cost of the whole project. It's not possible. Buhari's government paid only 2 billion naira, whereas Jonathan paid 21 billion, including 7 billion for completion of preparatory work. Buhari only paid 2 billion. When he saw that 2019 election was coming close, in order to deceive the gullibles and not the two billion dollars it is two billion naira not two billion dollars as the vice president Oshibanjo said during the anambra state election you know the full of the nigerian government said they will pay another three point zero five billion naira when the budget is approved and I don't think they made provision for that. Work have restarted in earnest at the site, and about 5 to 7 percent have been completed, bringing the total completion work to about 43 to 45 percent, according to an engineer overseeing the project at the site. They just started the work because 2023 is fast approaching. They want to deceive Biafrans. All the pictures flying around over the internet about the Second Niger Bridge progress of work are pictures of work in progress made during the first quarter of 2015 by Good Luck Jonathan, not Buhari. Because Buhari came in in the second quarter. But the deceptive Buhari media organization, their urchins and errant boys, are the ones circulating these old pictures to deceive the gullibles. In summary, Good Luck Jonathan's government paid 71% of the federal government of Nigeria's share of the cost of Second Niger Bridge Partnership Project, while Buhari's government paid 6.1%. Buhari is not interested in completing the Second Niger Bridge 
because he hates Biafrans with a passion. Julius Vega, the major contractor and construction company, will put toll gates on completion of the bridge to recover their costs. The construction company is funding the project and the people using the bridge will bear the cost via toll charges. The real people building the project are Biafrans that will use the bridge as they will repay the cost to Julius Vega for celebrating or those celebrating politicians and sharing old or fake photos and pictures of Second Niger Bridge. The facts are not on your side. They are not. They are just being deceptive. You know. The bridge will be told for 25 years. Each passing car will pay a certain amount of money for 25 years. We, Biafrans, are paying for the bridge and at the end making profit for the Nigerian federal government and Chinese investors. In the same period, Nigeria is building a railway in Niger Republic. That will end at Kano. This railway will cost $1.96 billion and completed or completely funded by Nigerian government via a Chinese loan that will be repaid by all Nigerians through the sales of crude oil coming from Biafra land and taxations of citizens. I just said this to let Nigerians and Biafrans to be updated so that you can know what is happening because Femi Adesino is a typical Fulani slave urchin that sings for anybody that gives him money. The imposter Buhari is smiling because after his tenure ends in 2023, he's going back to Niger Republic with hundreds of millions of dollars for a job well done for scamming gullible Nigerians and helping the Fulani Fulanization agenda. Thank you my brothers and my sisters for watching this video and bye bye for now.